Hello, I'm doing a reading for you today. Yay. Actually, I was going to do it earlier, but then I did another one. But that's okay. Don't mind me, because I need to tuck my shirt in or else I'm going to hit the wood. And that is going to be, whoo, just cold. So. And these are really slick pants. I'm not sure if they're scrub bottoms or not. They don't seem like it. Their pockets are really tiny. I think these are actually suit pants. Got somewhere important to be later on today. Which is a law, but whatever. We're going to be doing a Thunderdome for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, right? This will be you and the per probably the person you're dealing with the most. You know, things that probably come out won't come out very often. I don't know if I've ever done a Thunderdome for you, Libra. I might have. I'm not sure. Someone might be wanting to apologize for some naughty behavior they got caught up in. Or caught doing. Leaving evidence behind. Some shit like that. That glass lit all their snakes out of the closet. So, group one, we're going to be starting with you, of course. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. And if you want a personal reading, my email is down below. I don't charge for them, but I do take donations and tips through my PayPal, which is also located in the description box below. So, do with that what you will, and we'll begin with this. Right now. No way, miss. Okay. First up, we got... King of Cups reversed. Someone's being selfish and not giving a damn about anybody else or whatever. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? And we got them trying to want to, trying to, hoping to avoid a tower moment. Now, the fears and rejection is a King of Pentacles reversed, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone who's supposed to be the provider, but it's more like a con man. Isn't really stabilizing anything. Isn't really showing that they are the backbone of the relationship, whatever the relationship may be. Um, they are taking more than they are giving. Their pentacle is only built for them and then alone. Um, if they lock themselves out of the house, they'll celebrate with a beer and a fucking barbecue because they managed to use a screwdriver to get back into the house. That burst we're talking about. Their little accomplishments are more to them than what reality actually allows Probably think too much of themselves. Could be a liar as well. Um, three of Wands reverse. Someone no longer wants to wait for something. Probably this King of Cups right here. Then we got Ten of Wands as the obstacle and challenge coming against you, Group 1. It is a burden, but that burden's coming to a close or an end. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Probably with this King of Pentacles, who's supposed to be a better person than what they were, but, you know. And then we got the Four of Swords. Really not trying to think of how things went down. Not trying to collect your self. Not trying to really be composed. You might be in this energy of, um... Victimhood? Victimhood? That's a weird... Like, you don't want to think about how maybe... Yeah. I think that this is group one with your scenario. It's like you're out in this situation and the situation is um caused by someone trying to avoid something that's put them in this situation. Right? I hate to be a dick like that, but you know. I, I don't want to lie to you either. But it, it's definitely like someone uh, split because of a third party. Let's go to the King of Cups. What's up with you? It's almost like someone... It's kind of blaming the other... Like, I almost feel like someone's blaming somebody else. Several cards. Ah... Uh, the world, there might be a cycle ending right here or a new one beginning with this King of Cups right here. Um, possibly selfishly going about it. I don't feel like they're worried about anybody else when they're trying to start this new beginning. I feel like they're more, they're too focused on what it is they're trying to do for themselves. Like they only care about what pleases them. They're not worried about the business venture with the King of Pentacles right here. Then we have 
the three of wands reverse whoever this person is they are not waiting and they are the counterpart of the king of pentacles right here capricorn's card or virgo or taurus such as the king of pentacles someone's not waiting on this woman who's by herself anymore or she's not waiting for them like she's done cycles over Someone has come off as being a little bit more selfish than what they should have been. And this tower moment someone's trying to avoid deals with like their identity or how they've set themselves up financially. Kind of like um, in debt in a way. Like, you know, the King of Pentacles has got his head, like, straightforward. Like, I ain't looking at this shit. I'm too busy holding this pentacle on this side. Because that's all he's worried about. Like, all this is over here, but, like, he's got his pentacle. But the rain's going down on the pentacle. It's not coming down like it's supposed to. I don't think it's the kind of cool cloud. I think it's the um, bad times kind of cloud. Like, a dark cloud over him, right? Like, like there might be a cause of financial destitution involving him in some way one way or another but it's, but i feel like someone was, was looking for this queen like their counterparts like there's a reason why she's by herself the queen of pentacles and once again up here someone is i think avoiding trying to be by themselves but if you're by yourself as the queen of pentacles you have money. But if you're not going to be by yourself and you're avoiding this tower to be with this dude over here, um, you're not going to have money. So it's either love or money. Like, which one do you want? Kind of. Um, what, the ca what is going against you is obstacles and challenges. Ten of Wands, definitely in the vibration of... Um, trying to end a burden but you're not thinking of the ways to end the burden look at that look at that look at it because it's over here too trying not to think about things keeping yourself at a mental standstill not really trying to focus and it's just like you know why like because you're in the king of cups reverse energy leaving things um broken Almost. Even though the fact that it's broken is what's closed out the cycle. You know? So this King of Pentacles up here. It could be the same person, but I don't think so. Like, this is more like counterpart. Like, they're across the board. Like, they're not even close to each other. Like, distance. Almost. Right? Like, she's either not waiting or someone isn't waiting for her. Or she's done waiting for him. It could be either or. We got a small book. Yeah, this King of Pentacles right here is coming out of the delusions that have haunted them and kept them up at night. Right? And they are restricting the offer that they are slow to um deliver. Once again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in this. Very, very slow. Could be Taurus now that I'm looking at it. There's a lot of earth in this person. Like, not too much, but there's enough showing up to be like, hmm, most likely an earth sign. Um, someone's afraid this king of pentacles is waiting or binding their time. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, he's lying about being at a standstill or whatever? Lying about being at a crossroads? Lying about, um... Not knowing which direction he wants to go. Is that a fear? Because once again, this is like someone waiting on this um, earth sign. Or waiting to do something with this earth sign. Or expecting this earth sign to wait on them. It's like... <clears throat> it's like someone thinks that in this situation. With this situation. That someone isn't waiting and are okay by themselves. But they're afraid that this person is lying. And is actually waiting and it's just like, which one is it? Like, that's a fear. You're afraid that they're waiting? But the situation is they're not waiting. And it's like you're avoiding the tower because you don't want to be alone. But you're not thinking of releasing the burden either. That's really awkward, Creep 1. 
There's a ton of swords here. The catalyst as well as the final resolve. What started this and what shall end it. The ten of swords right here betraying someone. Like, look, someone's totally getting stabbed. There are witnesses to it, but nobody gives a shit. No one's saying anything about this person zapping swords but not bothering to save the person across from them. This all stems from someone wanting to take a new adventure. <laughs> and this will go into someone taking possibly a new adventure because this is the catalyst as well as the final result. Like, they got their eyes up at the Nine of Pentacles Reverse and Tower Reverse. It's like someone might have did something treacherous. You or somebody else, Group 1, but this is you, so let's take this into consideration. Either you ended up betraying somebody because you didn't want to be alone, or someone did this to you. But I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, whoever she is, like, she's not waiting around. Yeah, you have this fear that she is waiting around. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, I guess it would if I understood it, but it's like, ooh. Third party situation led to a breakup, but does, somebody doesn't want to think about it. So it is, maybe, yeah, that, maybe that is the actual issue here maybe somebody had a crush on somebody which if it's libra you know like you guys have crushes on everybody somehow i don't know how you manage those emotions but you do um there was a third party here and that third party instigated a breakup and someone isn't trying to become aware of that someone is not reconciling that someone's not recognizing that as um you know me taking off after betraying this person is what caused this entire thing to start to begin with. Like, that's literally what this is saying. So, yeah, because it, they're right next to each other anyway. It's like you're afraid that this person up here is waiting for you, and yet they're not. I don't know, but it, it all started when this person decided to take a leap of faith. And now it's let them, I almost feel like stuck. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, this whole thing right here stems from breakup. Someone was selfish. Wanted to end the cycle. And this bitch down here <laughs> is just not waiting for anything. Because fuck it, it was a broken heart. Three swords. Third sword in there just did it. That third sword there. What's the second advice card for this row where someone just doesn't want to think about how... They're... I want to feel like this was impulsive. Like, this was, like it wasn't even a situation where somebody was thinking of what they were doing. Oh, yeah. Th none of this shit's going to go forward. If you keep, like, not thinking about this burden. And you keep avoiding the tower in order to not feel as alone. It's just going to make you feel more and more alone. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, like... You know this isn't good or healthy for you, but fuck it. I feel like someone's really in this situation where, like, they aren't enjoying anything. And they know why, because it's in the back of their head what happened, but it, they're just not going to acknowledge it. It's just nettling yourself over something you already know. That is silly. Last device card, please. I don't know. I'm a Capricorn. My whole astrological special feature is seeing things and learning how to modify and fix them up. You know, Capricorn's very good with working on stuff and building the foundation of that. You know, like we add more stuff in to make it better and pick out problems that we see. And for me, I see the fucking problem, which is someone's just not thinking of what it is that they did. Because they just want to avoid that realization. It's like they're consciously blocking out the answer to their fucking question. Like, how did I run my leg over with the car? It didn't matter if the brakes were off. Well, you didn't have the brakes on. They were off, like you just said. That's not what I asked you. You know, it's, it's, it's like one of those things where like a million people could tell them the answer. But because they just don't want to face it. They don't want the wheel to turn. It's like... They keep asking how they broke their leg when they didn't set the brakes. Um, yeah, and and this 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 is just gonna stay broken with it. 
that energy, right? This person is just determined and hard-headed and stubborn. And it's like, I'm surprised I didn't see the Emperor reversed in this, honestly. Because that would make a lot more sense. But it's like, it's more along the lines of someone's desperate to keep this illusion going on in their head. Because if they think about it, it's going to piss them off. And if that pisses them off, they don't. They just want to avoid it. And if they don't avoid it, well, then it causes them to think. And they definitely don't want to think. So they're avoiding this on their own volition. But that was you, group one. So we're going to move on to group two. Sorry if I sounded harsh. Wasn't trying to. Okay, love you. Bye-bye. Two seconds. All right, group two, it is up to you. Do, 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 do. Anyway. We're going to be doing your reading now, so make a wish and hope for the best that you are not as fucky as Group 1, because I, I feel like Group 1 is slightly hard-headed, slightly not um actually listening to what's going on in their heads. They're just trying to keep some identity or whatever, right? So let's see what's going on with you. Ace of Cups. Ooh. Ready for love, looking for love, excited for love. Brand new beginning when it comes to love, right? You're just a little bit indecisive in your wants and wishes, you know. You're not entirely sure on um what to do or what choices to make. Uh, fears and rejections. Uh, Princess of Cups could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Not really trying to accept a cup from anybody, or maybe you just feel like you're you're not completely in an element where you can give out love in a healthy manner. I don't want to say you need more healing because, you know, that, that varies from person to person. This is more like I don't want to open myself up and end up like um, getting hurt again because I put my expectations where they didn't belong. You know? Then we have the alien or the hermit down here in this situation. Going into isolation in order to get some clarity. Um, what is... Wow, it's going against you and obstacles and challenges making that decision. Well, you're having a hard time making a decision on what you want, you are going to have to make a choice at some point. Uh, the beginning and the ending. The catalyst as well as the final result that started this a really shitty offer this is also another ace so whatever falls with these two aces i'll have to reverse both of them because you can't have two aces you can't have two beginnings that don't make no damn sense but if there's any consultation i think this one verifies that the ace of cups is the true ace because one of these is false one of these leads to treacherous endeavors as i like to say Beginning theme is for you, group two, gaining your balance, but there's a little sneaky sneakster shadow person that's just watching and waiting to be like, I, I want some coins, tell, you know, just watching you in the background while you're getting your blessings, right? Just being all creeper status about it a little bit, just a little bit, just enough to make you go, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> I have to say, I'm getting used to driving a stick shift. I got a new old car, which is much older than the vehicle I had before, before I had a Jeep Liberty. I had that thing for, like, close to eight years, Capricorn all the way. Like, very first car. This is my second car. It's a stick shift, and I'm finally learning how to, like, not cause the car to, like, shut off when if I don't hit, like, the clutch and the gas just right. I'm starting to get the hang of it. So, I, I totally dig that car. But I must digress. It's a little, the Sol. I think a SI. I'm not sure if it's S or SI. I think my husband said it might have been a coup, too, but I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a little nice little car. I like it. But I digress. Ace of Cups, right? Ready for love? Might not work out. There might be an offer of love somewhere and it might not work out. Or if this ace is reversed, there is no offering love when it possibly comes to working something out. So it's literally the exact same message. Like, so yeah. Uh, that's definitely the false one. This one could definitely be a false one just from that because it's literally the same message forwards and backwards. Not for love and not working out. Either way, like, like I can't decipher that any better. 
actually. That's the only way to look at those two cards together when they're like that. We got the Hermit. Someone's being introspective down here in this situation. Someone's looking on the inside. And realizing they need to make a choice. Problem is, is with the wants and wishes. You don't know what choice to make. Because you don't want to open your cup. <laughs> you don't want to offer your cup. If you do, it's going to be laced with poison or whatever. What the fuck? Group two. Obstacles and challenges. Making the choice. Possibly going to the past about the choice as well. Two cards came out. Hold on. Ah. The obstacle challenges of the choice. Like somebody um, negatively manipulated the Empress until she became bitter. Or someone did some shit that turned an Empress bitter. They lost their... Like almost like... Alma, like this could be a mother figure who is ripping away her love back, but she do she's kind of doing so in a very malicious manner. I have to say, like for your Thunderdome Libras, like there's not a lot of error. There's a lot of dealing with money. There's some swords, but not enough to make me feel like there's any sort of comfortable vibration that fits with you right now. It's like you're completely out of your fucking element. You know? Like, water, yeah, sure, that's cool. Because, like, water evaporates into the air. It's, it's, it's symmetrical, right? But this is, like, something's up with you guys. And I don't know what it is. But whatever this is, is, like, it, it, it it's almost like an infection. Like someone did black magic on a bitch or some shit. Turned the world topsy-turvy. Whether the intention was intended or not, I don't know. <sighs> Someone needs to change their ways in order to make this decision. That's the obstacle and the challenges against you, group two. Like, die and deal with this ace of pentacle reverse. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Princess of Cups is fear. Why don't you want to open up? Why don't you want to open up? Hmm? Because you want your Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay. 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 Um. I feel like you feel like, group two, that this Ace of Cups is not going to get worked on. No one's going to work together for it. And you're not opening up because no one's offering a cup to you. Afraid to open up. And, like, you want someone to hand it to you so you don't feel afraid anymore. That makes sense. But over here, you just don't know if you want to open your cup yet or not either. You know you got to. But you're kind of still choosing... To look back with the two of wands over at being an introspective person. Rather than changing and letting something die. Um, this shitty offer right here. <clears throat> comes from communication and reaching out with the star. But this is another ace. So if this was right side up. The good offer would be not to communicate or reach out at all. Hmm. Yeah, don't accept this offer if you're getting your own blessings. Like, fuck this person in the background. That's basically it. Um, don't worry about this person who's in the background. Um, whatever they're offering, run to that door. Run to it. Run like you're running away from your parents' house after they told you your curfew is 8 p.m. And you just met Chad, your 32-year-old boyfriend on the motorcycle who sounds just like Batman before everyone recognized that gruff voice was Batman. And he wears, like, black shades that he got at Walmart for $15. But it's cool because he leaves the tags on. Yeah, I'm going to make you purr. You know, just weird shit like that. 
But yeah, like, no, don't, don't even pay attention to this person trying to come with an offer. Just run to the door, I feel like. This offer is shit. Just ignore them and keep doing what it is you're doing, basically. Group two is what this is saying. Um, yeah, when it comes to this whole, you know, you need to make a decision while you're in introspection and kind of like it's, you're realizing that like no one's going to cooperate to make this ace of cups come up. You know, things aren't going to be working out and things aren't turning in your favor. And all of this needing to decide to like let something go from the past or whatever, because I feel like this is what it's saying. And decide, not sure how to offer your cup up so you're not doing it at all has left you pretty lonely. I think. Like, maybe even a little bit destitute when it comes to hopes and dreams. It has you more grounded than what you should. This is the last advice card. Oh, I actually got two. Um, you might not be thinking about too much how you might run your mouth in this scenario. I feel like someone's going to try, this person in the background might try to approach you with an offer. And I feel like what you're going to decide to do, group two, is just not even acknowledge it. If that makes sense. It's like, what's the point of me acknowledging this? Like, why, why are you giving me this? Because down here it says, that, like, this is a shitty offer to communicate. In fact, if I reverse it, it says I shouldn't communicate at all. That's a good offer. Or that's the only offer that there is, is not to communicate. Like, I feel like someone really doesn't know what to do. Like, they want to... I feel like someone just doesn't want to offer their cup up either way. Because they feel like even if they offered their cup, they're not going... Like, why should I offer my cup up after I've already been hurt before? You know? But yeah, I feel like someone is not going to... Um... Like, he, he's hollering at this person. Like, I don't know if, if, if this is a person who's running in... To communicate, but didn't think about how they were communicating, and it comes out pretty violent. Or someone's going to approach them about communicating, and they don't think about what they're saying. And then they're going to say something back that's really harsh. Really mean, really uncharismatic, if you will. But, that is your reading group, too, and we are finished. Um, thank you for watching my video. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a really good day. I really do. See you later. Bye-bye.